All right, we're gonna take a quick walkthrough of the 2022 Camus CX-20. I didn't do it right away because I actually wanted to fish out of it, so we've had it since June. It's now October. Let's start at the back and tell you a thing. First of all, it's been a really great boat. The ride, way better than I imagined. Eats waves, super smooth, gets out of the hole. Pretty impressed with how it fishes. You've seen it in a ton of videos as far as fishing and that kind of stuff. But 250 Pro Mercury XRS four stroke. I'm running a 23 four blade. I'm not sure that's the right prop. We'll figure that out once we get pulls on the back of it for spring. Uh, hydraulic Atlas jack plate. If you're gonna get a new boat, I definitely recommend getting some kind of hydraulic or power jack plate. It makes loading your boat much easier. Shallow water, things like that. All in all, highly recommend that. So we set this up with, uh, come standard with dual axle tra uh, trailer. Um, so how I've got this set up, I keep some of my way bags and things like that back here. But, so we've got a 31 AGM starting battery that also runs electronics. We've got everything on a separate circuit electronics wise. We wire this ourselves. I'll probably do a separate video on that. Got breakers for electronics in the main motor here. Encoda onboard four bank charger. The pumps, as you've seen in previous videos, all have their own compartments. And we store an extra prop here just in a bag in the back. On this side, three separate 100 amp lithium batteries. Just basic lithiums here. Also got a power for that. So that's kind of the setup back here. So that's what's running the trolling motor and the Ultrax up front. All right, I, matching I, compartments <laughs> back here. Pretty much keep this one fairly empty. Uh, got some lanyards for mooring. Got some, some tackle here, but this is pretty much dedicated to the co-angler uh, side of the boat or team partner. And then on this side, This I carry uh, a fair amount of plastics and stuff in arsenal bags, and then I've got some of my kind of Plano style boxes in here. Uh, so it's pretty roomy. I got, I don't know, eight or 10 of these style boxes and a bunch of arsenal bags. I try to put a little bit of the heavier stuff back here in the back of the boat, performance wise. Keep some snacks, some bottles of water, things like that. The live wells, important if you like to keep fish, tournament fish. Um, they're pretty big. Nothing too crazy here. They are lighted, standard. There's LED lights. We made a nice upgrade here. Dual zip ties to keep your call tags. No need to drill holes for mounting these. You can just hang them there and it makes them really easy to get to when you need them. This is a single console center storage here with a slam latch. Uh, it's got the turf on the top, so it's nice for getting up and down on the deck. You don't have to worry about stepping on seats or things like that. Keep, uh, you know, screen cleaner, miscellaneous stuff, extra chips, fuses, some snacks, ultra extra remote, just random things in there, wallets, keys, things like that. We got a day drawer here. Kind of a, a daytime drawer here. Sometimes I'll keep some baits in here, a scale, call beam random things I want to get to. Good place for passengers and things like that to keep some of their extra stuff, sunglasses. You got a place for a few rods here, a strap for your partner or towing the rods. And we keep the net behind the seat. It's a collapsible net that comes with it. It actually is pretty handy to keep it back there. I do like that this is all foot padded up here. So no feet, sand, rock, grass, things like that on the fiberglass and then this is like a nice storage area here for bait piles and letting stuff dry out and stuff you want to get rid of multiple tool holders here we got all our arsenal pliers and scissors like thing your bump board place for that cooler pretty big cooler honestly one drawback here i don't think this holds ice that great so if i'm being honest this does not hold ice <laughs> very well it melts really fast Cock all right in the cockpit Say our hot foot, these seats, both of them are actually adjustable. So you can move this up, move this back. Tons of room. I'm 6'2, can pretty much straighten my legs out and can't touch back here. So you can, like for you tall people, uh, you've got a lot of room to move a foot or a hot foot back here, uh, as you can see. So if you're a tall person looking for a boat that's going to fit you in a 20 footer, I'd definitely take a look at the Camus. 
We've got a smart dash here, smart gauge built in. We've got the Atlas tilt trim gauge. I do love the way that the Camus comes with no carpet in the cockpit. This has been really good. It's obviously not super clean, but it doesn't take anything to clean it. Typically, most bass boats never dry out in the cockpit. They stay wet, this gets wet, it washes out, it drains, and uh, it's really not a problem at all. A little extra compartment here with a USB. So this is another little lockable storage for wallets, cell phones, things like that. You got all your power switches and key down here. Pretty standard throttle. I'm running two Helix 10s. I went with a ProSize Outdoors deck mount and I can link to that. It's actually probably one of the more affordable, stable, strong dash units. So that's kind of, I thought this was the best bang for the buck. So I'll put a link down in the description if you want to look for those mounts. Now let's head up front to the fishing platform. got a pretty large center compartment that does have some rod storage. Uh, I keep my Plano boxes down the middle. It's a little bit disorganized. We actually went out fishing today. I've got a bunch of Arsenal bags down the sides of this. Um, so I've got my big kind of Plano style in the middle here. And then I've got a series of little, are these, I don't know what they're like, these stowaway boxes. And so I've got one of these for meds, weights, hooks, drop shot, Nico, et cetera, et cetera. And that way, uh, I can just kind of, instead of having one giant terminal box, I can kind of pick and choose. And when I, if I do go fishing with somebody, I can kind of pull those out and, and do what I need to. And then there's got some back trays in here for random stuff that need to be cleaned out. Some cup holders and things like that. Overall, tons of storage. And I, the rods I do put in here are kind of the rods that I intend to use. So basically, these end up being my rods that I want on the deck. I'll put in the center storage before I go fishing. These are the ones basically I have rigged up for the day. And most of them are going on the deck and then they're out of the way uh, when I want to access tackle. Added an arsenal scissors up here. So I always got one, so I got them. The tool holders, uh, I got a little whiteboard that I installed here. So this is like notes of like, hey, I need to clean a reel. I need to put jigs in the boat. I need to get these tubes or whatever. I make notes to myself that I can then kind of follow up with and, and that helps me keep organized on the, on the water. So then two large dual components, both of them can be used as rod lockers. Neither one of them come with any kind of dividers, which I like. Uh, this one's got kind of a day tray. So this is a lot of the kind of day-to-day stuff, things I want to get a hold of or stuff I need to put away. And then the rest of this is like throwables. I've got a few rods I don't use a ton, uh, line, GoPro stuff, life jackets. A lot of times rain gears end up in here. Spools extra line. I try to keep this compartment fairly light. And that's how I got that set up. And then this is my main rod storage here. And it holds quite a few uh, Dobbins rods piled in here. Use the sleeves, you can get a ton of rods in there. So that's where I keep all those. They are, uh, almost all the compartments have these LED lights in them. Dual rod straps on each side, pretty standard. We're running an Ultrex 101 pound 52 inch. And then I've got a Helix 12 that I run mapping 2D sonar and Mega 360. The directional puck for the Hummingbird, which is key if you don't have one of those, whether what brand, Garmin, Lowrance, <laughs> Hummingbird, that will make you a better offshore fisherman. Make sure you have one of those. Uh, and then a Garmin 10 inch uh, for running the new LVS 34 live scope front forward facing shooter sonar. I rigged all this myself. This one's the precision sonar stacker mount. Um, that was what I felt was the best value for this boat, for a strong, steady uh, mount. A couple other things I've added, I've got these Alaska cords to hold my covers on. They're not on right now, but these are pretty cheap. I found these on Amazon. You can get these. So these just kind of all lay on there. And then when I put the covers on, another rigging note, I've made this uh, kind of trolling motor cable to keep things clean. There are like a TH Marine one. I'll put a link down to this one. This one you can get off Amazon pretty inexpensively. And then instead of tie straps or zip ties, I've used this Velcro to lock everything down. And there's a couple reasons <clears throat> I've done that. One, it doesn't pinch the wires. It's not gonna damage any of your sonar cables. Plus it's movable. So if you have to rerun something, adjust something, I have this set up where I can pull this uh, Garmin off and I can move it up here. So if I'm fishing super shallow, all I have to do is pull this off and then I can undo the Velcro, but you can imagine, right? I can loosen up this Velcro, take this off, 
then I mount it up here. Then I can run this up here if I don't want that being caught with weeds or things like that. So that's the setup of the boat. I'll have another video dedicated to rigging. I've put links to some of the descriptions of some of the Velcro and the different cable management and some of the mounts if you're looking for any of that. All in all, it's been a great boat. Caught a lot of great bass. Super stoked to uh, finish putting the shallow water anchors on uh, for next year. It's been a great first season with the Camus. And if you want to see the very first day that I picked her up and the evolution that we've gone to get to this point, make sure you check out the video on the screen right here.